What's up y'all? It's your girl Jenna here, back with another video. Hey, I'm so excited to finally show y'all. We finally, finally got our damn couch y'all after 10 weeks. Like we literally pre-ordered it. The website said it was gonna take um, like six weeks, six to eight weeks. So we pre-ordered it so we'd have it by the time our friends came to visit because they had planned to come. I think Labor Day we expected to have it. And then I called the company, I was like, dude, where's my couch? They're like, oh, for this type of couch, it's special order. It takes nine to 10 weeks. So by the 10th week, I was like, yo, where's my couch? They're like, oh, it's on the way. So whatever, whatever. I'm just so happy that we have it. I can't wait to show y'all. So I'm gonna do an updated like furniture tour of my living and dining space. There's not a lot of decor, it's just furniture. It's just very simple. We don't wanna like spend money on decor. We don't have money to spend on decor, but it's simple, it's good enough for us. It feels like home. I'm so excited to show y'all. But if you haven't seen my empty apartment tour, swing by and watch that and come back and watch this because it's like a huge transformation. I'm so excited. So let's be in. <laughs> So it's a very gloomy day, so I actually have to turn on the lights for y'all to see. Um, I usually just open the blinds and the natural light will come through, but it's a rainy weekend. I actually got some cold weather, so that's a plus. Anyway, if you're wondering why the lights are on, and they're pretty yellow, but honestly, it gives it a warm, like, cozy feeling, so I don't mind it. Let me show y'all. So when you come up the stairs, because we live in a townhome, so downstairs is the garage. When you come up the stairs, this is our dining slash living space. Ah, I freaking love it. We were planning to originally get a small table, but I was like, it doesn't even make sense to get a small table when we always have guests come over. So this table is actually like 70 275 i forgot how many inches it's freaking long i can fit eight chairs let me start from scratch i've been eyeing this table from ikea for the longest i love the color of this wood very light and um the little black accents because that was the look i was going for we're kind of modern boho-y look very natural neutral tones um and i wanted bright furniture because my floors are like this dark gray and i really want the space to look open so this table i was eyeing for so long from ikea because i couldn't find a table that looked this good and this long for this price it was 200 20 or something like that and it was sold out for the longest and i was eyeing it eyeing it and finally when it came in made Paul take me to Ikea and he had work the next day so I ended up setting it up myself you girl has put her glasses on so she could read them instructions you know those Ikea instructions how they go so I'm going to open the heavy boxes now oh, heavy All right, this is what I got so far. This taking me forever, it's slow. Oh my gosh, y'all, I just love it. Like, look at the little black little finishes, the color of this wood, like, it's so nice. Well, let me tell you, you know how Ikea is notorious for having poor instructions? Let me show y'all what the instructions said. You need two different screwdrivers, and it says, no, don't do it by yourself. Do it with a partner. So I had me, myself, and I. So I had two partners. Still. That table was heavy. I was like, I'm going to hurt myself. And then I'll have to stay home from work. And then I'll never get to buy more furniture. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy. 
Uh, I can't wait to show y'all how it looks with chairs. An a-hole. And then um, it was so heavy. I'll insert a clip of me setting it up. I was struggling to flip it because you set it up upside down. And then at the very end, you have to flip it over. So I was freaking struggling. I was like, if I break my back, I'm done for. So I thought this was a really good deal. I couldn't find anything this size, anything this cute for that price. Everything was like 500 and up. And I was like, I'm not about to spend that. But since I've... I really was hoping to find a table for even cheaper. I know how cheap is that? And I couldn't find any. I actually went really cheap with the chairs. So these aren't the chairs that I wanted, but I don't mind them. They're actually comfortable and they were only $25 each. I have five of these white chairs. They go around. And then I'm planning to eventually put a bench here because I feel like that would save a lot of space because we can tuck it under and have more room over here because I didn't want everything to be so smushed. Um, this is just a candle I got from TJ. And people always make fun of us for our coasters because I only have two. But it's literally just me and Paul. And I've actually tried to go back to Ikea to get these, but they're sold out, which is ridiculous. Ikea here in Houston, like they restock so slowly. So I've there are some things that I'm still looking for, but they haven't come back. So that's my dining table. I actually fit all my friends around here. I actually bought some cheap black chairs as well, but I keep those in the garage. Um, they were like $12. They're actually pretty sturdy. All right, Ikea. If you watch my empty apartment tour video, you know that my fridge is small. So luckily, our friends Bach and Nancy gave us this mini fridge when they moved, and we just store our drinks in here. It actually needs to be restocked. My water and stuff is in the garage, but I didn't want to put this fridge on the floor. So again, I looked up at IKEA, and this is actually a kitchen cart. Love that this wood is so close to this wood and how bright it is. And I usually keep a case of water on the bottom, and then we just refill it as we go. Paul gets mad if we don't refill it. But yeah, it's supposed to be a kitchen cart slash island. It has like one set of wheels on one side, and you're supposed to be able to put it in the kitchen and like chop stuff on it. I measured it, and it fit perfectly for our um, mini fridge. Like it fits absolutely perfectly. I know I'm such a freak with measuring things and making sure it looks right. So moving on to our living area. I'm freaking so stoked about this, y'all. I just love the way this looks and feels. It's so cozy. Um, this is our couch. I'll do that part last. So before we moved, I ordered the couch, the coffee table, the rug, and the TV stand. These were things that I knew we were gonna use right away. This rug is from Overstock, and it's the shade Ivory. There's a bunch of different shades. It was on sale. It was like $100 or less. This table, like I said, I wanted like light woods with like black accents and a lot of ivories and whites. So um, this table is also from Wayfair and so is the TV stand. And I was a little, uh, uh, not upset, but like on the pictures, it looked like it matched better. And these were the first two things that we got and it didn't really match that well, but it doesn't look too bad right now. But at first when it was just this and this in my house, it looked um, kind of weird, but it doesn't look awful. And yes, I ordered this before I found out about the accusations of the sex trafficking scandal. And honestly, I would not support them had I known. So this is my little coffee table. I love the simplicity of it. Perfect when you're sitting on the couch. It's the perfect height. This candle my friend Nancy got me from Anthropology. It smells so good. It's so strong. It makes my whole area just smell so good. And my friend Amanda got me this candle and it's a linen candle. And I just, the aesthetic and everything, it just, y'all, it's perfect. So I just lit it for fun. And like I said, this is from Wayfair. And we've been having this TV for some time and we just hooked up a bunch of speakers. In one of my vlogs, you see me hook up the karaoke system. And inside the drawers are junk, obviously. <laughs> um, thank you, Bach, for these speakers. My friend Linda, have y'all ever played sequence? If y'all haven't played sequence, y'all need to play this. We have a iHome thing that Paul took from his mom's house. And Junior gave Paul this. It's also in one of my vlogs. 
y'all need to watch all my videos or you're not gonna know any of my insiders. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I've actually been having this couch for maybe a couple weeks, but I've trying to find the right throw that I want to add to it but I haven't found it so I just used a blanket that I had and threw that there and um, this basket I actually got from Ross it was so cheap it was like 15 bucks and the one that I want is like 20 25 from Ikea it's on sale so obviously it's sold out in my Houston location when I first moved here there were so many and then it went on sale and I just threw some blankets in there um, no jeans allowed in my house. <laughs> so this couch is from Living Spaces. It's a restoration hardware dupe. A uh, restoration hardware couch would probably be 12,000 or I forgot how much. It was like six to 12,000 depending on the pieces you got. We wanted a really comfortable large couch because like I said, we have guests all the time. So it's uh, like an ivory color, linen type material, very deep couch. It's not a thick cushion, so it doesn't have a lot of bounce to it, but it is comfortable. So if you take off the back pillows, it's the size of like a twin bed. So yeah, it's like perfect for guests. And I freaking love it. Woo! So if you're wondering, it's in the shade Caitlin Cloud, Caitlin Flax. Shoot, I'll have to look it up and insert it right here. Um, would I recommend it just because of the customer service? Maybe not. It was still like expensive, but not as expensive as the Cloud couch. And I did put it on a payment plan, so whatever. <laughs> I just like quality over quantity. Like people were telling me like, why don't you just get a cheap table for now or get a cheap couch from Ikea. And it's like, but you'll have to replace it eventually anyway, sooner than later. So why not just buy like one good thing, one good time? Like that's just my way of thinking. I'd just rather wait till I can get something that I like and be happy with my purchase and have it for a long time, you know? So this couch would go with anywhere that we moved to. And we were so nervous it wouldn't fit through the door, but it was really fine. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this apartment really needs some green in it, um, but we're never home and like to take care of it would be sucky. But it's almost Christmas, so the green I'm going to have in my apartment is a freaking Christmas tree. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to move that basket. And this fits perfectly. I did want to put like a arc, like a lamp with an arch, arc. Um, but I don't know if I still will. That's just like another decor accessory thing that I don't know if it's necessary. You can see that we have like the bare minimum of everything we need, so yeah can't wait to see y'all in the freaking next one thank y'all so much for watching love y'all